Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on everybody? Solomon here with another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. And today we're gonna do a hike on the west end of Alexander Road. Now this hike is eight and a half miles long, so it's pretty long and it goes up through some canyons and through some hills. So it's a pretty good hike if you don't wanna drive too far out of town, but you still wanna get a workout in. So without further ado, let's do it. So the trailhead is located at a place called Cliff Shadows Open Desert Park at the west end of Alexander Road. And because it's in town, it's pretty simple to get there. Just take the 215 to Cheyenne and uh, get on Cliff Shadows Parkway and then turn left on Alexander. And Alexander ends at this park. It'll look like this. All right, guys, we're out here in the hills west of Alexander. We've got Genesis there and Edwin there. And uh, I think he's taking a piss over there. But uh, it's a pretty nice hike, guys. All right, guys, so there's a mine over there. And what they mine over there is gypsum and limestone just for cement and just for <laughs> plastering and drywall and stuff and as you can see it's a pretty pretty view I'm, I'm flying here he's uh he's begging for camera time so there you go there you go <laughs> so we're going up the hill nice view down into a canyon down there we're gonna drop in there's a canyon there so uh we're in the back here behind uh Behind the hills, we're kind of, kind of in the back, at a canyon, just above a canyon. And these rocks, these mountains, are dipped about 30 degrees because the Keystone Thrust Fault, Cretaceous in age, is on the other side of these mountains and uplifted them. Now, this was part of the Sevier Orogeny, which took place about 40 to 80 million years ago, and extended from Southern California all the way up to Canada. So the Farallon Plate was subducting beneath the North American Plate and it uplifted these mountains the wasatch mountains in utah mountains in idaho mountains in montana and in canada so really interesting you can see the keystone thrust fault and other related thrusts in multiple places across southern nevada everybody's slowly coming down the hill that's a that's a tough hill to go up and to come down it's pretty steep on the knees so if you're not uh super athletically fit maybe not the best route to go you can always just come up the canyon um, and we're gonna go down the canyon, so I'll show you guys that. Interesting thing here, if you follow these rock layers, they go up this hill. Like I said, they're dipped. They were dipped about 25, 30 degrees, but right here, they're kind of scrunched up, and you have a miniature anticline. So an anticline occurs when there's a, a process called thin skin deformation, where these sedimentary rocks basically get crumpled up together to form anticlines and synclines, an anticline being rock uplifted in an A form, uh, in an A shape, it's sedimentary rock, and uh, you can get oil and gas uh, trapped in anticlines. So this is a miniature anticline associated with the Sevier orogeny. Pretty cool, guys. I love seeing the geology out here. That's one thing I love about Vegas. All right, guys, we're about to drop in the canyon. We have some uh, pretty cool fossils in here. These look like uh, burrowings of worms. They've been recrystallized through calcite in limestone. And then we've got some coral fossils right over there. So uh, this canyon is filled with fossils, so uh, you'll see more. All right, guys, so at the top of this canyon, we have uh, what looks to be a little bit of a waterfall, so uh, we're going to have to navigate that down. Oh, a lion in there. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. More fossils here, guys. I wonder if there's a, like Lemmy was saying, maybe there's a mountain lion in there. All right, guys, so we are down in the canyon, and there's like a miniature cave over here. Pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look like anything other than like, there's like a pile of rocks as a ceiling. But there's like a little cave down here. Pretty dope, guys. Pretty dope. And uh, inside those rocks is where that cave is. It's it's really not much of a cave, but it's it's not deep at all. But, you know, it's kind of a cave. So we're coming down the canyon, and there's like a miniature cave right over there that we all went to. And uh, the cool thing is, is if you look over here, look at that. Vegas is right down there. So not only is there a cool cave, but there's a dope view of Vegas. So uh, we're gonna keep shoving on, guys. Let's go. We found ourselves a bone. Uh, yeah, maybe there are predators that live in this canyon. Well, luckily it's daytime, so they shouldn't be out right now. So yeah, we we found a bone, and uh, you know, hopefully we don't get eaten. So it can get a bit hairy right here, guys. There's a bit of a drop, but uh, nothing too major. Those too. All right, so uh, Lemmy right here found some ammonites, those like nice swirls. 
They're basically old like nautiluses that got recrystallized into calcite uh, as the rock was deposited. So we've got another uh, difficult way to get down here, but uh, you know, all in all, this canyon's pretty cool, guys. Right here, next to this calcite recrystallization, we've got some iron minerals right there, the orange. Uh, you can tell because as iron oxidizes, it turns orange. This way down is a little bit hairy. It's like a rock slide. Luckily, there's a trail up there that you can go on if you don't want to go down. But lots of cool fossils here. Yeah, guys, this is uh, kind of a tough way down. This is like this is like a water slide. This is like a straight up a slide. You know, I don't even know what this canyon is called. I don't think there's a specific name to the canyon, but I'm going to name it. So uh, that's the canyon that we just got out of. I'm naming it Life Canyon. It's a bunch of uh, old crates and stuff over here, and there's a metal pole over there. You wonder the historicity of this place. You wonder if maybe there was some mining going on in there. Because back in the canyon, we were seeing some faults. And those faults could have, you know, had, you know, lead, zinc, and other types of ore associated with these type of deposits. But I don't think so. I think these are just stupid people coming out here and looting the place. And So we have found a cave here. Okay, guys, this is creepy. It seems like this is somebody's house. It seems like somebody has made this cave their abode. This is obviously somebody's camp, somebody's house. We have a sleeping bag, pad, a pillow, some working out gear, some food, socks, the fire ring. There's a book and some charger back there. This is actually like somebody's house. This is creepy. So guys, I was reading up on some of the uh, urban you know stuff around here las vegas and apparently this cave is housing somebody that's hiding from the law uh that is running from the police so maybe we should get out of here before we get some trouble we don't want no smoke guys we don't want no smoke we're about to get out of here guys we don't want no smoke we don't want to be apprehended by someone running from the law by a criminal possibly dangerous there's some uh there's some weed graffiti on this rock right here all right guys so we reached a clearing right across the canyon from that cave where the weird homeless person is. Maybe he has dinner here, shit. So the name of the cave is Raul's Cave. And another interesting thing is there's a fault right there. There's a normal fault. You can see the offset. It's probably about a couple meters of offset. Um, and this was probably active during Miocene times, but you can see the offset really clearly in the rock layers right there. Nice view of the city though, guys. It's such a nice view. You can see Frenchman Mountain, Mount Wilson in Arizona, the Strip, and then Black Mountain right over there. Just want to show you guys how widespread this urban sprawl is. So these houses go up this valley all the way to the foot of the mountain. And you know, a couple years ago even, there were no houses here. And it's just insane how rapid the development is expanding here in Las Vegas. This is like the perfect suburban cityscape. You got the law firm in front of us, the power lines, and the city way in the background. So uh, pretty cool guys. And as you guys can see, the uh, the latter part of this trail just goes right alongside the uh, housing development. Then we've got Lone Mountain and Gas Peak. Lone Mountain in the foreground, Gas Peak in the background. All right guys, thank you again for watching another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Peace.